When modifying a building structure, whether for renovation, expansion, or interior remodeling, it's critical to determine which walls are load-bearing. Removing or altering a load-bearing wall without proper reinforcement can compromise the building's stability, leading to severe structural issues. In this guide, we will explore how structural engineers accurately identify load-bearing walls using a combination of blueprints, physical inspections, and advanced testing methods. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how these walls support a building and why consulting a professional is always the safest choice. Before we dive into the identification process, let's clarify what a load-bearing wall is. A load-bearing wall is a structural element that transfers weight from the roof and upper floors down to the foundation. Unlike partition walls, which only serve to divide spaces, load-bearing walls are integral to the building's framework. These walls are designed to support the vertical loads from floors above, horizontal forces from wind or seismic activity, and even additional stress from furniture and occupancy. Let's discuss the key approaches used by structural engineers in this process. 1. Reviewing architectural plans. The first and most reliable method for identifying load-bearing walls is by examining the building's architectural blueprints. If available, these documents provide valuable insights into how the structure was designed. Here's how structural engineers analyze blueprints. They look for thicker walls, typically denoted by bolder lines on floor plans. They check for load paths, where weight is transferred from one level to another through beams, columns, and walls. They identify floor joist direction, as load-bearing walls often run perpendicular to these supports. However, in older buildings or cases where plans are unavailable, engineers must rely on other investigative methods. 2. Assessing the building's layout and age Understanding the construction era and layout of a building can provide crucial clues about load-bearing walls. For example, older homes, particularly those built before open floor concepts became popular, often have multiple load-bearing walls to support traditional layouts. Load-bearing walls typically run parallel to the roof ridge in houses with pitched roofs. In multi-story buildings, Walls directly above one another across different floors are often load-bearing. By considering these factors, engineers can make educated guesses even without original plans. 3. Examining the foundation and framing Another key indicator of a load-bearing wall is its alignment with the building's foundation and framing elements. Engineers inspect the basement, crawl space, or foundation slab to identify where vertical loads are supported. Here's what they look for. Walls that align directly with beams, columns, or foundation walls are likely load-bearing. Exterior walls almost always bear loads unless the structure was specifically designed otherwise. Walls extending from the foundation to the roof without interruption usually serve a structural purpose. This step provides a physical confirmation of which walls are critical to the structure's integrity. 4. Conducting on-site inspections A hands-on investigation is often necessary to validate findings. Engineers perform a detailed walkthrough of the property, looking for physical indicators such as ceiling beams or headers above doorways, which suggests load transfer, wall thickness, Load-bearing walls are usually thicker than partition walls. Differences in material, structural walls often use stronger materials like concrete or reinforced wood. Sometimes, minor demolitions, such as removing drywall, may be necessary to expose framing elements and confirm a wall's function. 5. Using non-destructive testing methods. In cases where invasive inspections aren't ideal, Engineers turn to advanced, non-destructive testing techniques. These include Ground Penetrating Radar GPR, uses electromagnetic waves to detect structural elements within walls. Ultrasonic testing 
identifies reinforcements like steel bars or embedded supports. Infrared scanning helps detect variations in material density, highlighting load-bearing structures. These tools provide an additional layer of certainty without damaging the building. Final considerations and safety measures. Once a load-bearing wall is identified, any modification or removal must be handled with extreme care. If a load-bearing wall must be removed, engineers recommend replacing its function with beams and columns to redistribute weight effectively. Laminated veneer lumber, LVL, or steel beams for enhanced support. Temporary supports during construction to prevent collapse. Attempting to remove or alter a load-bearing wall without professional guidance can lead to dangerous structural failures, including sagging floors, cracking walls, or even partial collapses. Common Myths About Load-Bearing Walls Many misconceptions exist when it comes to identifying load-bearing walls. Let's clear up some common myths. All exterior walls are load-bearing. While most exterior walls do bear loads, some modern structures use alternative support systems, meaning certain exterior walls may not be load-bearing. A thick wall is always load-bearing. While thickness can be an indicator, some partition walls are built thicker for soundproofing or insulation purposes. If a wall doesn't have visible beams, it isn't load-bearing. Some load-bearing walls distribute weight through concealed structural elements, making it necessary to inspect beyond surface appearances. Understanding these misconceptions can help avoid costly mistakes during renovations or remodeling projects. How load-bearing walls affect renovation costs. Removing or modifying a load-bearing wall isn't just about structural integrity, it also impacts renovation budgets significantly. Here's why. Reinforcement costs. If a wall is removed, engineered beams and columns must be installed to support the load, which adds labor and material costs. Permits and engineering approvals. Structural changes require official permits and approval from a licensed engineer, increasing both time and expense. Hidden surprises. Load-bearing walls often conceal plumbing, electrical, or HVAC systems, leading to additional work and unexpected expenses. Understanding these financial factors before making structural changes can help homeowners and builders plan more effectively. Identifying load-bearing walls is a crucial step in any structural modification, whether you're planning a simple renovation or a major remodel. By analyzing blueprints, assessing building layouts, inspecting the foundation, and using advanced testing methods, engineers can determine which walls are essential for structural integrity. Remember, removing or altering a load-bearing wall without proper reinforcement can compromise the entire building. If modifications are necessary, always consult a structural engineer to ensure safety. Using engineered beams, columns, or other support systems can help redistribute weight effectively and prevent costly damages. Lastly, be mindful of common myths and hidden renovation costs when planning your project. A well-informed approach will help you make the right decisions, keeping your home safe, stable, and structurally sound. Thanks for watching. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. See you in the next one.